ID Drew asks, six six euro super chat. Thank you, Drew. Uh, Nazgul Evoke F five V two O three has two antennas for the O three, but some said it's the wrong polarization for the goggles three. Is that true? Um, yes, but it probably doesn't matter. So the DJI Goggles 3 have linear antennas, but iFlight ships it with circular polarized antennas. Technically, this does cause a small amount of polarization loss, but most people uh, find that the result is, is fine. And the reason for that is, if you've got two linear antennas, okay, if the two antennas are both oriented straight up and down, then there is no polarization loss. Woo, that's good. That's what I want. If I have a circular polarized antenna, and a linear polarized antenna, there is 3 dB, roughly, 3 dB of polarization loss, regardless of their relative orientations. Just a fixed 3 dB of loss. Okay, so obviously linear to linear is better. No, not necessarily. If I have two antennas that are mounted on a building, yes, linear to linear is better. And I'm going to just rotate those antennas so they are always oriented exactly the same. But if I have an antenna on a drone where it's just pivoting and flipping and rolling, then those antennas are not always optimally oriented because the drone is moving. And technically, so is your head a little bit. And the polarization loss for cross-polarized linear antennas can be up to like 15 dB. So I kind of don't even know what DJI's thought process was going with linear. Uh, but obviously, DJI knows what they're doing. Like, it wasn't a mistake. They're smart, and their drones work great, and their radio links work great. So I'm not complaining. But when you look at the iFlight, and it has circular antennas, and the DJI has linear, it's not a given that that's going to give you less range. In, some, in many situations, it's going to give you a little better range, just depending on how the polarization bounce is happening. 